This is No BS Job Search Advice Radio, episode 2849. I'm your host, Jeff Alvin, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome. Have you ever been in a situation where you know you made a mistake, but it happened when you were under some pressure? And that's what happened to this person. They asked for too much money. And I'll explain the scenario in the recording, but there is a way to come back to it. Hope you find this helpful. Hope you give it a great review wherever you listen to it or watch it. Please share it on LinkedIn. It will help other people. And I'll be back in just one moment. Today, I want to read a letter to you that I received from one of my viewers uh, who had a question about a salary negotiation. This comes up all the time and uh, it still makes people nervous, but I was able to handle this for him and I think it'll work out well. But just follow the question here. Dear Jeff, just got done watching your YouTube video on salary negotiations. I went on a pre-screening interview for a job in Cleveland. During the interview, they announced I would be an excellent fit for their place in California, just north of L.A. They've been romancing me through email and are flying me out for five days, all expenses covered. When we spoke in Cleveland, they asked me to quote them a salary range. Knowing L.A. would be hugely more expensive than where I live, I told them I wouldn't even hazard a guess. I had no way of even being prepared for this offer as the position was in the Cleveland market. L.A. was a big surprise. So they badgered me and I threw out a range completely ignorant of what the market really was like in L.A. I've had two weeks to do my research. I found out my numbers were way off mark. Is it too late to cry ignorance given the L.A. opportunity was a complete surprise? Is it too late to ask for a salary that's directly in line with the requirements of the position? rather than looking as a, quote, pig, as I refer to it in another video, uh, as I called it. Negotiations begin in two days. So I wrote back to him, and let me just give you an idea of what I said. Uh, I told him I'd be trying to cover this later today. Uh, But what I said was, first of all, focus on making them fall in love, and don't really worry about the money at this point. After all, And I know the guys will laugh, and I know a lot of women have laughed when I've said this line. No love, no money, no honey. It doesn't matter unless they're interested in your credentials. So focus on making them be interested in you. If they still like you, they're going to raise salary again with you. So be calm, and with a smile on your face, simply say, at the time you were asked uh, the first time, you were a guy you know, in the Midwest without a clue about the job market in California. You kept saying you didn't know, but they insisted, so you gave them a number. And then you continued by saying, I have a better idea now of my value, and hopefully so do you. And then you smile. When they ask you what that value is, offer them a range that works for you. Don't worry about their salary ranges. Focus on what works for you. Check about paid relocation, benefits, all the other ancillaries in there as well. Remember, living and working in California will be more expensive than you anticipate. So recognize they're going to be interested for a reason and give them a confirmation of uh, of that thinking with a great performance on your interview. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here are a couple of ways I can help you even more. First of all, connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. Mention that you listen to or watch the show. I like knowing I'm helping some people. Also, join me at jobsearch.community. Now, whether you become an insider or not, there's a lot of stuff on the homepage to help you. Books, guides, video courses, videos, some good stuff to help you. And if you become an insider, you get access to all my video courses, books, and guides, and you can ask me questions and I log in daily to respond to everyone. If you become an Insider Plus member, all the same stuff I've mentioned to you before, plus you can get me on a Zoom call to answer your questions more immediately. And if you're interested in one-on-one or group coaching, become an Insider Premium member. There's a lot there that we'll work on to help you land your next job. And you get all the other content as well. Hope you have a terrific day, and most importantly, be great.